After eight years as assistant strength and conditioning coach, Cal Poly promoted Sarah McKenzie to director of strength and conditioning. I kind of got thrown right into it with the resignation of um, the head coach that was here before me, but it was awesome because it kind of didn't give me a chance to react or to do anything, so I just had to act as that, acting as the head coach, and it kind of was nice to just jump right into the role because I had had so much responsibility in the past, so um, it was awesome when I finally was, you know, got through the interview process and got to actually have the real title instead of just the interim title. So. Mackenzie became just the second woman to be named Director of Strength and Conditioning among all Division I schools with football programs. There's a ton of like women that they have they hold this position in other capacities, like maybe they're the director of Olympic sports, but they're not overseeing a program that has football too. So it's really cool to, um, to not be ruled out as that. It was really nice when um, the director left, he was in charge of football and I had assisted him for seven years, but the athletic training staff and the um, administration upstairs and the football coaches were like, we, we still want you to be a huge part of this program. And so it was my job to find somebody that complemented what I do. So I hired a great assistant who had a lot of football experience and together we make a really, really good team. So it's, it's gonna be really it's awesome to see them next season and see how our two styles of training help them out. She says her coaching style is different from most and believes that building good relationships with the athletes is the best way to find success. I like to develop relationships because I, I believe that if they believe in you and what you're doing and they know that you have their best interests in mind, that it really does help foster a really good relationship and then it um, kind of takes care of all the work for you. If you build that with the older, the upperclassmen, then the younger kids follow suit and then before you know it, you have a whole team that buys it and everybody believes in what you're doing. Sora Marlum, Mustang News.